YouTube. My name is Charles Kim and I compete on American Ninja Warrior. I travel every week for work as a software consultant. So today I wanted to talk to you about the top credit card that I've been using from Chase called the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card and review it and if it's the right card for you. So I've been using the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card, which is the predecessor, for about four years now and it's been great in terms of redeeming points and, and earning bonuses. So the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card is very similar. It has a triple point earning bonus for all travel, hotels, flights, and car rentals. So that's an improvement on the predecessor of the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. Um, it also has a 100,000 point earning bonus if you spend $4,000 in the first three months of opening the card. A lot of people have been asking me, well, where do I spend these $4,000? Uh, depends on your expenses. The holidays, a large event, that's the time you should be opening this card. So my wedding is coming up at the end of this year. My photographer cost $4,000. So I booked all of my expense on the card the first week of opening it, and I already hit my 100,000 point bonus. So you should think about strategically opening this card when you have large expenses coming up. So this card does have a $450 annual fee on it, which a lot of people get scared of, but let's just talk about that real quick. There is a $300 credit that gets automatically credited back to your statement anytime you use some kind of travel expense. If you incur some kind of taxi expense, if you book a flight somewhere, book a hotel, up to $300 of that will come right back to you automatically to your bank accounts. The annual fee on this card is really $150 unless you absolutely do not travel at all. If you do not travel at all, this card is not for you. So don't even think about opening it. You're not going to reap any benefits of it. So if you think about if you're going to take one trip this year and you know you're going to spend about $300 in some kind of travel expense, you should think about opening this card. To cover that $150 annual fee that you're going to see on the card, let's just break this down in terms of dollars and points. Since you get triple point earnings on travel or restaurants, you really have to spend $5,000 in flights, hotels, and restaurants to get that that three times bonus, right? Because 5,000 times three is 15,000, and that's gonna give you $150 cash. So we could break it down that way in terms of cash to points. Since I'm traveling every week for work, I'm spending about $75,000 on hotels and airfare and car rentals throughout the year. Multiply that by three, that's what, 225,000 points? That's what I'm getting throughout the year. So if you're a heavy traveler like I am, this kind of card is perfect for you. You get those points, and those points will go a long way when you're, when you're traveling later on. And again, do not redeem these points for cash. They will go a lot further in booking international flights, and I'm gonna get into that shortly. A couple other benefits that you get for free is TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, which allows you to bypass any security lines at the airport. TSA Pre is for domestic flights. Global Entry allows you to travel internationally through customs without going through that long customs line and filling out forms. So these are both free. TSA PreCheck is $85, Global Entry is $100, so if you do open this card, just make sure that you sign up for either one of those. It's credited back to your statement automatically. Another benefit of this card is the Priority Pass, which is a $400 value. If you're a frequent traveler, you can go into different lounges that are usually in the international terminals. So for instance, for me in Chicago O'Hare, there's a lounge in the international terminal, Terminal 5. If I'm traveling internationally, I can go there, get free appetizers, free food, free booze, stuff like that. And you can also bring guests into the lounge. They can also get free food and free access. So. Um, we have three destination weddings coming up this year. We're traveling to Southeast Asia for three weeks at the end of the year. So this is going to be perfect. We can be waiting in those lounges. They have, some of them have showers. Um, they all have food and beverages. It's going to be perfect for our honeymoon. So let's talk about using the points on this card. When you get that 100,000 point earning bonus, do not redeem it for $1,000 in cash. The reason I say that is because those points will go a lot further in redeeming for international flights than that $1,000 cash you're thinking about. So let's just take a look at the United website real quick. This is what I always do my point transfer to since I have status with United. So I know I'm going to be taking my fiancé to the Maldives at some point. So let's just see what the dollar to point values are in terms of redeeming for cash. So let's look at Maldives. Let's say November 1st. So let's look at the cash value first of what that uh, one-way flight to the Maldives would be. The cheapest flight to get to the Maldives is $4,000 right? So let's just back it up here real quick. $4,000. So you need 400,000 United points to get $4,000 in cash back, right? So let's take a look at, let's take a look at award travel now. So if I look at award travel, we saw the cash value was 4,000, over $4,000. 42,500 miles to get to the Maldives, right? With $10 in taxes. 
You can clearly see that redeeming for cash for those Chase Sapphire points that you just got would be a terrible, terrible decision. Now this isn't just for the Maldives, this is for a lot of different international countries halfway around the world. So you can see that 42,000 miles here, that would only be the equivalent of $425 in cash from Chase Sapphire, right? But now that you're only using these 42,000 miles to get to the Maldives, you still have another 58,000 miles to use, or I'm sorry, 58,000 points to use on Chase Sapphire. So you can see that those points go a much longer way than, than redeeming them for cash, especially if you want to travel internationally and see different places in the world. So a review of the Chase Sapphire Reserved card. It's been an absolutely great card in my hands. I have over a quarter million Chase Sapphire points right now. That's good for three international trips pretty much anywhere around the world. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Please subscribe if you want more travel tips. Got plenty more out there, plenty more travel techniques and how to travel on a budget. So take care, guys. See you next time.